Hey everybody, today we're going to be taking a look at uh, something I graphed in Desmos recently. And as you can see, it's uh, just a bunch of circles. Yep. Now, well, anyway, the point here is, is that these here are supposed to mimic somewhat the look of like a sunflower seed or center. Sunflower seed center, and it has the golden ratio built into it. Check out this sunflower seed center. Look at how perfect that is. Did you know that if you were to count these spirals, see, you, your eye kind of picks out these lines, which, you know, aren't really there. It's just a bunch of individual circles or whatever. But yes, they are real. You can count these lines. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And, and if you were to count these lines, they actually are Fibonacci numbers. How cool is that? And there's also, the, which means that the golden ratio is built into here, because if you divide two Fibonacci numbers, it approaches the golden ratio. But how else is it built into there? Okay. So I'm going to attempt to explain this as quickly as I can. But basically, the way this works is that, if we look at the center here, it's going to draw a circle starting at zero degrees. Then it's going to add, if this if this was let's say uh, zero point five, exactly, it'll add half a turn before putting out the next one. So it puts this one at zero degrees. Then it goes to uh, half a turn and puts out this circle. And let's decrease this radius so we can see this a little bit better. But uh, it goes zero one. Um, it goes at half a turn. Then it goes half a turn. It goes half a turn. Half a turn, half a turn, half a turn. Okay, let's see if we put in a two five. It'll go a quarter of a turn before putting out another one. So a quarter of a turn, quarter of a turn, quarter of a turn, quarter of a turn. And as long as this is a see, let's say let's see if what would happen if we did um, let's say four over eleven. Okay. As you can see. Even though it's 4 over 11, the only number that seems to matter here is 11, because 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, there's 11 spikes, okay? Just trust me. Um, so basically, as long as this number here is close to a rational number like this, if I put, let's say, 4.1, okay, that's too much, 4.01, 4.001, there's still 11 spikes. So this number, even though it's pretty irrational, it's... If we were, uh, as in these numbers are large, if we were to factor this into two rash, it still is close to something over 4 over 11. It still is close to rational. So we're looking for a number which is as far from rational as possible, which happens to be the golden ratio. And in this case, I'm using um, 1 over the golden ratio, which is 2 over 1 plus the square root of 5. And if we go and we play and we put this set this all the way at the end here we have the golden ratio I think there's multiple solutions though because this is one number but also as you can see this is another solution and that's a different number that's uh, 0 0.38 so it looks like there's more than one angle that has this optimal overlapping thing here I was trying to find other examples of um, what do you call it, the golden ratio in nature, and I know that I found this, I know this one, my mom bought this at the store, Romanes, oops, broccoli, broccoli, uh, look at that stuff, that shit, that shit is crazy, and another example is, uh, pine cones, They have that same structure if you looked at them from the top down. It's a little bit less cool, but basically they're trying to also do the least amount of overlap here. So basically, you find this in nature when they're kind of in an altered, staggered pattern. And you also see it somewhat, it's pretty messy, but in spruce, tree, spruce trees, the way that they put out those branches is so that there's the least amount of overlap as well because the more overlap you have then the less each branch uh, would be collecting sunlight so I just can't seem to find a good top-down but I've seen it before with my own eyes they look kind of like a pine cone if you look at them from top down be it 
Here, even though this is fake. You can see the way that they put out these branches here is so that there's the least amount of overlap. Pretty cool, huh? Now this is a fake picture, but I've seen it with my own eyes when I was in a, a gondola in Whistler. Well, anyway, this video has gone on for far too long. Have a good one.